Ninja Gaiden 2 Black is an action-adventure game developed by Team Ninja. And these are the minimum system requirements for the game. In this video I will show you how you can run this game on low-end machines. But before that, I highly recommend you to watch the steps respectively. So, without wasting any more time, let's get to the business. The step one is in-game graphics settings. I'm running the game on RX 570 and I'm getting between 20 and 25 FPS. And this is not playable at all. For such a fast game, you need a 60 FPS. So, let's go to the graphic options and set every setting to the lowest possible. Set the 2D resolution to 1080p and display mode to full screen. Set the VSync to off and set the FPS limit to 60. Set the presets to custom and super resolution type to TSR. About the remaining options, simply copy my settings. These are the lowest possible settings. Let's see the changes. Now I'm getting between 35 and 40 FPS, but still far from 60 FPS. If you need more FPS, go to the next step. The step 2 is game config file. First, you have to find where the game config file is. To find the game config file, in the Windows search bar, type this. First, create the copy from game user settings file and paste it right there. You have to change the name of this file. Right click on the file and select rename. The name is engine. Please pay attention to uppercase and lowercase letters. Now open the engine file with notepad and delete every text you see inside it. Now go to the video description and copy paste every command you see inside the engine file. These commands will grant you massive FPS boost at the cost of sacrifice image quality. At the end, save the changes and set the file attributes to read only. I've taken some screenshots to show you the changes. With these commands, most of the graphic settings like foliage, shadows, fog and ambient occlusion will be disabled. In terms of performance uplift, you can expect at least 62% FPS boost by using these commands. And here we reach the end of this video. I assure you, by using these commands you will easily reach 60 FPS on integrated GPUs. And if you have any idea about this video, please let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Till next time, peace out.